Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. If you're out of time for this, this is my little wrap up for 2022, at least like for the year, and some goals for 2023, which I usually do every year. So of course I needed to do it this year as well. There's also a bunch of sunlight outside, so I don't look like I live in total darkness all the time. I don't know what's going on, but I am pleased about it. So let's first talk about 2022, because I did it again. I accidentally again read 300 books. I don't know why it keeps happening. It is literally an accident. It is so hard to read less when you're so used to reading more. It's really annoying because if you have been following my channel for a little while in 2020, my main... <laughs> there was hair in my face. My main goal was to read 300 books. That was like my goal for the whole year and I had never read that many books before but I had like full belief in myself that I would do it and I did it barely like I fought myself through that year but I think I ended on 303 books. Then the next year I was just like I'm gonna read big fantasies I'm not gonna read 300 books this year that didn't happen and then I read like even more than the year before and here we are and I read even more than those two years using my wonderful stats reading app thing. So I ended up on in a year of 2023, with 337 books read. I don't know why I'm like this. Like, why am I like this? My goal was 200 books and I even thought that was a bit much. I was just like, I'm gonna read less this year. I'm gonna do other stuff. That didn't happen. You know what my goals was for 2022? I was gonna read 200 books. That happened. I was gonna write 50,000 words. I didn't write a single one. I wrote all together for the whole year, zero words of like book writing. Obviously I wrote words in text messages and on Discord. And I was gonna get my driver's license. I don't think I drove a car the whole year. I don't think I, I didn't do a single training lesson. I, I don't even want to think about it. My little tiny subscriber goal was that I was gonna reach 3000 subscribers. Actually right now, as I'm filming this, I am five subscribers away for 4000. So I doubled my goal. I don't know how that happened. And I'm screaming in grief on us. That was my goals. And the only one I achieved was the book one. Well, maybe that's why you didn't do any of the other books, because you used all your time reading, Sandra. <laughs> but it's not like I'm complaining. I'm not complaining in a way that I'm not supposed to read. I love reading. I love books. It's just that I also want to do some other stuff. I feel like sometimes when I'm not reading, it stresses me. And I feel like I'm trying to remove that feeling. Whereas, like, I feel like I always need to be reading. And I feel like I become a bit better at it. Apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. Some more book stats before we go on to other stuff. Pages apparently was 106,103. I don't think that counts like the books I listen to audiobook on. Like I don't think those pages are in that count, which is what I, I don't usually count them with. So that's fair. I apparently spent 743 hours reading. I don't know if that's a lot or a little, but I read quite fast, so I could read quite a lot than others would maybe in the same time. Not that there was a conversation, but just saying that, like, if that sounds little for that many books, it's because I read fast. My best read day in pages was apparently one day I read 1,675 pages. I don't know what I was doing that day, but uh, yeah. But yeah, I always wanted to make like a video where like I talk about how I read so much, but basically one of the things I have is that I read every single day. Like some days I read a bit less, some days I read a bit more. Like on audiobook, I still count if I like I listen to audiobook five minutes a day, that would count as reading for the day, obviously. But usually in my goal, in my head, I have 100 pages each day I'm gonna read. If I don't read 100 pages one day, I will read 200 pages the next day, etc. to catch up. Obviously, I haven't always followed that. I read much, much more than that. I tend to like, if I do a sprint, I will read a whole book. If I do a readathon, I will read a book a day, etc. or more. So that's why it's so much more than like just 100 pages each day. And I don't mean a little bit more, I mean it's so much more. Generally, some months in this year, I have like 200 pages a day in my head. But last year I had that like really intensely and I removed that this year for like at least a few months. So I'm glad that I managed to do that this year. So, what is my goal for 2023? What is my reading goal on pages? So I want to still keep to 100 pages each day, at least until after the summer. And then I want to put my goal, I was gonna say at 150, but I think I'm just gonna do 200 because this year I think I reached 200 quite early in the year. And then I think I just try to chill after, but like, yeah. Because I know I'm still gonna do lots of sprints, especially because of Patreon, I do at least a round of sprints every week. And then I still will participate in readathons here and there. Then I also read much, much more for those months. 
So with that like in mind, I think 200 is a reachable goal. I also have my TBR game where I think an average 15 pandas fall every month. And if you take 15 and multiply that with 12, that is 180 books already. And then you know I'm gonna read more than that. So I think 200 is a reachable goal, which again, hopefully I won't reach 300. But the reason I think I won't this year is because I most likely I'm starting my master's degree after summer if I get in. I'm speaking into reality, I'm manifesting that I get in and then I think I will have of course much much less time to read it because I actually need to you know study. Right now I'm only working so when I get home I can like get all the time that I want but like generally when you have studies you just feel stressed and depressed all the time and don't get to do anything especially reading because you feel like you always need to study and you don't study and then you stare at the wall but that's besides the point. So that's when I think I would probably lower my daily goal at least to like 50 pages maybe and then probably I would read like four or five books a month instead of like I don't know if that will actually happen because before when I used to study well when I actually studied instead of just I was just not in a program and didn't actually do anything but before when I actually studied I was in a program and I actually did stuff I didn't read as fast as I do now and I wasn't as stable as I am now in my reading so I feel like maybe I could keep up like 10 books a month even though I'm still studying we shall see we shall see I didn't have sprint stands so we shall see of how my life will be then I cannot foresee the future but yeah 200 books 100 pages each day if any goals of like what I want to complete there's only like one specific goal that I want to like have for the year and that is to finish the realm of the elder rings by Bowen Hall. I'm only holding this up because this is the next service I own I don't have any of the ones in the last one which is granted only seven books I have this as the goal is to finish realm of elder rings for this year then obviously I have my read along, read of time along, and then I also have the sequels I wanted to finish that I did another video for. But those are like, it's not like things I don't think I will make, but I don't like have any like specific genres and stuff I want to do. I want to of course just do my channel and chill like I always have and find stuff to do. And yeah, if there are any specific videos you want to see this for me this year, I will try to get to them. I hopefully will get to do fun vlogs. I hopefully will get to continue, for example, booktubers, favorites, etc. But if on a series as you want to see them, please send me down below and I will see what I can do throughout the year. I also will be ending my monthly favorite series on this channel. I have been doing them, I think since May, I don't even know which year, 2017? I don't know, there's many, many videos where in month, my monthly favorites, I talk about my favorite book, my favorite like stuff I watched and like a bit of my life, like what had been happening last month. But I just felt like the content was very like, literally a video lasting five minutes. I feel like it was a lot of effort for like, does anyone care? Kinda. But I will instead be posting a monthly favorite post on my Patreon where I'll be writing like what is my favorite book for this month, what are the favorite stuff I watched and I'll be doing, like a life update. I feel like the people on Patreon would care more about that than maybe other people here. Like I don't think it's that interesting to like telling you oh I watched the new Marvel movie and I loved it. Like I don't know like also the videos weren't that great. I feel like it was low quality content that I just posted because I've been doing the search for so long and I felt like it was best for me to not continue it anymore. It felt, they always like did also really bad. <laughs> Let's be honest, like I feel like it was not the best video either. So I feel like it's understandable it didn't do so well. And I just, I don't know. So there will be cuts and this will be weird because every month the first thing I do is to film my wrap up and then my monthly favorites or like the other way around. And now I won't do that anymore and it's really weird, but I feel like it's the right choice for me. So yeah, I will instead, as I said, be writing up a post on my Patreon in the beginning of the month instead of that. So that will be the where the monthly favorites is transferred and it will be available for all tiers, etc. If you like anyone is even interested in that, but I just wanted to say if like anyone cares why the series is not still coming here. I don't know if anyone cares, but I thought I will let. So that is a change. I don't know, this video is a mess. I just keep talking everywhere. So other goals. Uh, you know my reading, you know how my reading went, you know my potential plans for studying. And yeah, I just want to keep doing my channel. I want to maybe have a subscriber goal in mind, but I am too scared to say it out loud. So I'm just going to keep it in my head. And then I want to, I want to attempt to write, but I don't know if even like words 
at this point like a word goal is even like necessary I just need to sit down and actually write something again I have a lot of inspiration I have a lot of ideas in my head and words and I know actually how to write it down but guess I have done it before and I know I can do it again but literally just like finding the time because usually when I have my downtime for example after work I'm just like oh now I want to watch a show or now I want to read or now I'm going to do sprints or now I need to edit a video there's like just the, finding the writing space it's so difficult because I feel like it's not a thing you can just do for five minutes like when I start I want to keep going so I don't know but before I had time for it so I just need to insert it in my life again but it is just difficult so I want to attempt but I don't have any promises and the driving license thing really wish I could do before I need to go for my master's probably won't happen but I really wish that I could say I would be able to do it but I also know I won't be able to do it <laughs> so we would just suffer it is fine I love to suffer why is this book here it's just it's lying really ugly you could see it the whole time as well that's embarrassing what else what else so are we gonna like do a little, a little summary not read 300 books <laughs> uh try to write and try to post more videos on my channel that is entertaining is that my goals i don't know i don't know life is weird okay i'm hoping for a good year i want to do readathons that i enjoy i want to do other stuff i enjoy i want to keep doing what i'm doing because it makes me happy and that's the most important thing in the end although that i just want to mention quickly that on my patreon we're doing now a series read along for all tears where the first series we're reading is the memoirs of lady trent and we also have a year-long bingo readathon that you fill on the bingo board as the year goes on to get as many bingos as possible which is also up on my patreon now if you want to check out those stuff it is fun stuff to come in the new year and if you're interested in that other than that we have the normal other fun stuff on my patreon so i hope you might want to be interested in that <laughs> i don't know what more to say i feel like i covered most of it and it was just like a little bubbly chatty video but i feel like what else could this be and i hope you enjoyed and you should see me soon in a new one and leave fireworks and more down below if you enjoyed this because we're celebrating the new year and you should see me soon in a new one thank you so much for all your support last year and hopefully you want to support me in this year as well and you should see me soon in a new one as i said now i think three times and goodbye <laughs>